This week, I found big bags of mushrooms on sale at the Quintessa department store here in Osaka. And so I made marinated mushroom and mozzarella salad. Yes, you got big, big pieces of uh, mushroom in there. You got chunks, uh, little cubes of uh, mozzarella cheese and then the marinade, which has been soaking in there for a while, so the flavor is all in there. Mmm, 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 yeah. That's good. Let's go make that in the kitchen right now. All right, to make our marinade, it's quite easy, actually. It's just that we have to allow some time for it to marinate afterwards. So what I've got here is the mushrooms. I've got here one pound or 450 grams of mushrooms. Um, I was actually able to get these, a uh, really good big bag full of them. They're a little bit, they call them brown mushrooms. They're just actually the same as the white ones I usually use, which is like a champignon mushroom. I think they're called button mushrooms. Just a regular mushroom. So there's a pound of those, 450 grams of those. Over here, I've got uh, eight ounces or 230 grams of mozzarella cheese, which I've cubed up a little bit under half inch, so about 10 millimeters cubes. Here I've got a third of a cup of olive oil. I've got two tablespoons of vinegar, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, uh, two cloves of garlic crushed, two teaspoons of dried thyme, uh, quarter teaspoon of salt, and a half teaspoon of pepper. And what we're going to do right now is just make the marinade. So all we do is take a big bowl and put in the olive oil. I'm going to put in the vinegar, toss in the pepper and the salt, the thyme, the garlic, which we just have to get the rest off of there. And then I'm going to have to get the mustard out. And I've lost my little spatula. I uh, haven't replaced that yet, so this is going to be a little bit of fun. Get. Sorry, I've got to use my fingers here. There we go. Don't worry, in the age of uh, coronavirus, well washed. And now, mm. <laughs> then just gonna whisk this all together. So, this tasty looking marinade happening in there. Okay, once that comes together, then we're gonna toss in the Mushrooms, man, that's a lot of mushrooms. And the cheese. And then all I do now is just gently, because this bowl is filled to the max. I usually use my, remember I had that beautiful wooden bowl that I've used a couple times in uh, salad recipes? Well, unfortunately, it sprung a leak. <laughs> Last time I tried to make salad in it. Uh, the oil and vinegar start coming out the bottom. Yeah, I guess it, it pulled apart a little bit. Uh, it wasn't an expensive wooden bowl. It was quite nice though. So I'll have to replace it. So as you see, whoa, get back in there. As you see now, starting to get, but I've still got some dry pieces of mushroom. So I want to do is keep tossing this until I know that all have been covered on all sides with some of his marinade. Hoo hoo, I so I lost him. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is uh, cover this with uh, some plastic wrap and set it aside and let it marinate for at least an hour. An hour is kind of like the minimum. I'd like to marinate for two, three hours when I can. So if you can make this in the afternoon or at lunchtime or something like that, that's fantastic. Then you can just sit there and let it marinate for a long time and that flavor just gets into everything. All right, so see us later on. Uh, when it comes, well, actually, you'll have to see us later on. You can basically see the finished product right there. I'll come back and show you the final, but it's not going to change that much. It's just going to taste better. All right, that's been marinating for about an hour and a half. Look at that. It soaked up the uh, marinade into those mushrooms. Oh, the flavor, going to be fantastic. What we do is just get in there, 
kind of first thing I'll do is stir it around a bit again, and then let's toss some in a bowl. So you've got the uh, mushrooms, you've got the pieces of uh, mozzarella there. Oh yes, look at that. That's gonna be good. All right, if you like this recipe, stick around. There's a lot more here on Kuma's Kitchen. There are all original Kevin Raleigh Kuma's Kitchen recipes. And uh, there's more coming every week, so make sure you subscribe because every Monday there's a new one coming out. Also, if you're not yet a patron of Kuma's Kitchen, well, please consider becoming one because for as little as $3, you can be supporting the creation of more and more of these original, original recipe videos. My voice is not working today. <laughs> All right. So now go make this mm, delicious marinated salad and make cooking fun again with Kuma's Kitchen. 